brothers hold the line again. We'll be a little stronger if we hold the line again. it's a, a watershed moment for the trade union movement, I think, it was this whole dispute, as you see, escalated into quite, quite a major, uh, it, it, it got much bigger, much bigger than it, 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 because of all the reasons that we've seen. What's so inspiring about the, the strike was that Jabin didn't just do it for the women and the immigrant workers within her company, but she inspired a movement across the country and brought people together from all walks of life. And we find that with all the stories we tell, they're so relevant to today. Even 150 years ago, we talk about the martyrs. We still see that it kind of it kind of resonates down down the years, and you know, it comes around. The fight never stops. The next generation of young people haven't been um, taught to fight. They're accepting what's given to them. So uh, we we're talking about the gig economy, and we we're talking about the fact that uh, you've got zero-hour contracts, um, or um, just just generally things that you're looking at with Sports Direct, with McDonald's, uh, with Amazon, they're accepting what's given to them. And the sad thing is, is that they're not, they, they know there's, there's an inkling, but nobody's ever taught about the fighters who have fought for the rights that we have to <coughs> and, and And they're just accepting it. So plays like this, and hope will kind of encourage people to start thinking about actually, um, is it okay that my boss says something to me about what I wear? Is it okay that I get paid less than a man? You know, or um, that I've got less less chance of getting my CV through to the right companies because of the colour of my skin. It's not okay. It's a, a very important story uh, that is is not, it's not heard these days. It's uh, it's kind of disappeared off the kind of social historical map, and it's one that really needs to be told. It's a, a vital piece of, uh, of, of the puzzle of, uh, that, that makes, our, makes our society. It was such a, an important strike at the time, and made such big news at the time, 
that it does need to be, it needs to be remembered. I think some of those reasons were because um, immigrant workers were being mistreated and that's something that we're seeing repeated now, that we're being blamed for a lot of things that are happening in the country and people forget that actually it's happening up and down the country. It's not just, it's not just because of immigrant workers. There's lots of kind of injustices going on and people need to kind of come together and see that we're all suffering these injustices. And um, that's what this fight was about. This, this is what the, 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 the strike and the picketing was about. It was about having rights as a worker, having somewhere to go to air your grievances, having someone to actually mediate your problems, having a safe place to be able to talk about problems within a company and find a, a, an amicable solution. It was about a fight for dignity in the workplace yes. more than anything. Yep. It was... It, it, was, uh, it wasn't just Jay Ben, it was uh, the, all the strikers. Yep. Uh, it was uh, a fight against the indignity that they were, and, and the, the, the very difficult working conditions that they had to put up with. Low pay, being spoken to like rubbish, um, not, being, um, not being able to leave work when you're actually meant to leave work, having to work overtime, not being able to look after your family, having no work-life balance. Remember that those conditions at the time were, by, were called by many commentators Dickensian. The, but this was a modern factory. This was properly done out. This was brand spanking new. This was actually the future. And uh, of course George Ward was being advised by and helped uh, financially and legally by the National Association for Freedom uh, uh, who escalated the dispute because they wanted, uh, they saw Grumwick as an opportunity to, to uh, escalate, escalate the dispute and make an example of, of, trade, of uh, trade unions. The message really is the same, um, is the same now as it was then. It was, uh, there's, a way, there's a way forward, there's a way to challenge. There's, there's a way to challenge the your conditions, your wages, your, the, and that, that is collective action. And we've seen it, you know, in, in some places, the beginnings of it, the, the beginning green shoots uh, in uh, in McDonald's in London and uh, in, in other disputes, sports sports direct and so forth, where where, where uh, people are saying, no, enough is enough. Whatever the situation is, you shouldn't have to put up with it. And now we're in a society where if you speak up, you're seen as a nuisance. You're often seen as somebody who's like causing a ruckus and shouldn't be. But actually, these, this place should hopefully highlight the fact that you shouldn't have to put up with any injustice in a system. It's not fair. If it's not right and, you, and, and it's not fair to all other workers and yourself, if it's not... If it hasn't got principle, then I'm sorry, it doesn't exist. It shouldn't exist in the workplace. And you should be able to speak up and have someone help you through those situations. My name is Xavier Tissouza. I'm uh, one of the GMB uh, workplace organisers. And I'm really proud that the GMB has actually sponsored this uh, play and supported it and uh, promoted this awareness. As someone who grew up in London in the 70s and actually visited the Dolly area in the 80s, um, I had no idea about this actual strike and about this dispute. And uh, it's really important that this is given an opportunity to highlight something that has been so important for the trade union movement in terms of ethnic minorities, in terms of workers' rights, in, in terms of union recognition. All these things we take for granted in the modern era, but it's certainly something that had to be fought for over many hundreds of years and again, it's um, brought back in the 70s with ethnic minorities and things. The more people that can stand together and work together, the more chance of getting a better success in society. Grunwick workers print the pictures of our sunny holidays While they're forced to work long overtime on the lowest rates of pay No arguments, no questions, or you hear the foreman shout Get out of here, you lazy scum, before I throw you out. Sisters, hold the line again. Brothers, hold the line again. We'll be a little stronger if we hold the line again. Held it once at Pentonville, and softly ridden rain, and we're all